Well, today is my 67th birthday. Yes, you heard me right, 67. Are you thinking, oh my God, he looks 47? Maybe you're not. I certainly wish that what I know now, I knew at 47. So on this, my 67th birthday, I wanna pass on to you 10 things that I have realized as I have committed to age well in the last two and a half decades, particularly, I became potential by aging well. I want to pass something on to you on my birthday that are current 10 things that I am discovering as I commit to keep aging well. Number one, staying loyal to an old version of myself is betraying my current self. And shedding loyalties to things that no longer align with my current self is the best way to welcome the next version of me that's waiting to arrive and for you too. Secondly, a hurdle is an obstacle, but a barrier is a blockage. Don't confuse the two. Some of you are stuck now staring at what someone's told you is a blockage, but in fact, it's a hurdle. If you'll push against it, it will give way and you'll be able to keep moving. Don't confuse those two things I have in my life. Number three, the quest to be right means everyone suffers. It's the ego that needs to be right. So manage your ego better and be more interested in peace than being right. Number four, hard conversations are the gateway to repair in relationships. Where do you need to maybe have a tough conversation with someone today? Number five, your grass will never get greener by focusing on someone else's lawn. And you might also find that sometimes the lawn you're comparing your life to is actually fake grass. <laughs> so you're comparing your life to a fake version of someone anyway. So let's do less of that as we get older. It's going to help you. Comparison can be the thief of joy. It can. It can also be inspiring. But it's often the thief of joy when we are comparing grass. Number five, stay away from people who think you're arguing every time you express an opinion, especially if it's something that disagrees with them. Try and avoid those kind of people that project back onto you that you've been uncooperative or rude or disrespectful. Next, as you get older, I think you really want to surround yourself with good people, people that are good to you and good for you and good for your soul. Who are those people that keep us and tell them that in your life? Next, in tough times, try to find a pocket full of happiness, which is the title of Richard E. Grant's book that I read a while back as he was trying to move on from the death of his wife. He said, every day I try to find a pocket full of happiness in my life. Can you find one today? I'm looking off camera, these daffodils to my left. They're beautiful. They could be a pocket full of happiness in an otherwise tough day, where can you find a pocket full of happiness in your day to day that nudges you forward to another day that you perhaps thought you wouldn't make it to? Next, the place where you work, the company where you work, didn't know you existed until you started working there and they will not care at all when you're gone. So don't give the best of yourself to them and the worst of yourself and what's left to those that matter the most to you in life. 10 and finally, as long as you keep outsourcing your emotional security and your joy and your happiness to other people, those people will continue to control your life. So let's stop doing that. I send you love and light on my birthday. Thank you for being here in this space with me. I so value your time and attention. These two things are fossil fuels. They're non-renewable energies. So to burn some of them in my direction means the world to me. Thank you. Have a brilliant day, whatever you are, whatever you're doing. Sending much love and respect and appreciation to you. Cheers.